Hello, magical butterflies. This is Xtina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a general collective reading, healing messages for the Divine Masculine. I felt really guided to put out a reading of healing messages for both Divine Masculine and Feminine. If you haven't watched my feminine reading, feel free to do so, as both readings can resonate because everyone has masculine and feminine energy within. When I channel the divine masculine, I refer to the masculine as he. A divine masculine can be a man or a woman, so please take it as it applies in your connection, especially if you are cross-watching. Please use your own discernment when watching this video and only take what speaks to your soul and what doesn't speak to your soul, release it and let it fly. If you are interested in purchasing a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, the list of my services are below along with my Etsy shop link, which is where you can book a reading or a session. If you are interested in purchasing one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame music deck I co-created, if you're in the United States, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below. My Instagram, my Facebook, my Patreon community, my blog website, and my donation links are all listed below. So let's get into what needs to be healed within the Divine Masculine. What does the Divine Masculine need to heal within himself? and in his connection with his Divine Feminine. I'm going to be using two decks for this section of the reading. I'm going to use Twin Flame Shadows by Mystic Moon Oracles and get a guidance message to help with the healing from the Power of Surrender cards. So what needs to be healed within the Divine Masculine? Distant. The separation and the distance between himself and his feminine. That is something that he wants to heal. For those that are in separation, have not seen or spoken to their masculine in some time, this masculine that I'm picking up on wants to end the distance between himself and his feminine, and he wants to return. What he needs to do is surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. The masculine is being guided to surrender the resentment he has towards himself over the way he acted, over things that he has said, even the things he has not said, making his feminine think he didn't want her, he didn't love her, and that she didn't matter. That is the big thing that has been keeping him from coming towards her. And this is something that is being illuminated to him that he now understands that he must heal. And that is something a lot of masculines are working on or have worked on, but he has to surrender the resentment, beating himself up, the regret and guilt that he feels inside. He must heal that so he can become whole and he can become strong so he can move towards her. The next thing is irresponsible. He feels guilty for walking away from her. He feels guilty for not being authentic and expressing his true feelings. And he knows in some way he ended the connection and he may have possibly also killed it in a sense where he went in another direction and now his feminine has either gone in another direction or she is thinking about it or he just feels she will because he doesn't see why she would wait around for him. So the way he can get out of this energy is to surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So by the masculine surrendering to the beauty of the natural world, what that does for him 
is help him connect to source, to nature, to help him ground, to help him heal, and to help him get into a better mindset so he understands that his actions in the past were because he was not awakened. He was not aware of this connection and he got scared. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's seeing it now. So he must surrender his resentment of himself and he just needs to surrender to the beauty of the natural world and forgive himself and to heal and to know that if a second chance is possible in this connection, he must follow the guidance to take the action steps moving forward towards this second chance. The next thing is self-indulgent. He understands that he chose karmic people and karmic situations over his feminine and he knows now that they hurt her in a very deep way and it is causing him stress that he must surrender. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So the masculines have to surrender the stress. They have to surrender everything that they regret, that they feel guilty of. They must release it. They must release the past. This is tied to surrender resentments. Everything is tied on what he needs to heal. If he can do that, he forgives himself, he releases the past, he releases the attachment he has to the past, and he frees himself so he's not thinking about the past, playing a scenario over and over again, wishing he chose differently, wishing he said something, if he just walked away and ghosted her, and wishing that he had given her a chance instead of leaving her out in the cold and making her cry. The masculines are understanding that the past is the past and that he cannot change it as much as he would like to, he cannot. So he is working on healing himself over his actions, his lack of words or his words that he did and said towards his feminine so he can create a new beginning for himself on his journey as well as in his connection with his divine feminine. The next section is going to be what will this healing bring to the divine masculine when it comes to his personal journey of self-love and healing as well as in his connection with his divine feminine. The deck I'll be using for this is the Moonology. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. He will begin a new cycle in love and he will be able to bring balance to this connection with his feminine. This is a specific message. If you or your masculine are an air sign, specifically Libra, or you have Libra somewhere in your chart, but of course, take it as it applies as this is general, but that is what is coming through. So Libra masculines are going to want to return to bring balance to a connection that they walked away from now that they have healed and now that they have gained the wisdom and the understanding of what the connection is, what she means to him, and why everything happened the way it did. And he will be able to step out of his comfort zone. The Divine Masculine is going to be able to step out of his comfort zone because he will be healed, he will be in a good place, and he will be balanced, and he will want to step out of his comfort zone and take that step forward, reaching out to his feminine, communicating to her, and wanting to bring clarity and closure, and for some, an apology. A personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer and this will illuminate to the masculine that because he has done his healing he will be able to step out of his comfort zone and return to her to resolve a personal issue because now he will be focused on the solution and the healing even if the second chance that he offers her she doesn't take he will be at peace knowing that she knows how he feels 
and they will have closure on some level. Be bold and make the first move. As the masculines heal, they will be guided to be bold and make the first move. Now, will they actually take that step forward and make that first move? It will depend on the masculine. And as each masculine decides, they have to make that free will choice to go towards their divine feminine. No matter what the cards show, the masculine always has his free will choice to do as the cards say or to go in a different direction. The feminines have the same choice. So if you're feeling intuitively that your masculine is going to return to you, if you're a divine feminine watching this reading, just stay in that truth, but allow things to unfold naturally. Allow him to make that free will choice to be bold and make the first move. And the last thing the masculines will gain with healing is that he will see that he is very close to achieving his goal. Not just with his feminine, but in his life, with career, with life purpose, with everything that he wants to manifest in his life. Everything is going to shift and everything is going to come towards him and he is going to find that he is going to manifest things very quickly. So that is what I have for this section of the reading. The next section is how the energy will shift. So how is the energy going to shift in the Divine Masculine's world overall with himself on his own personal journey of self-love and healing as well as in his connection with his Divine Feminine? And I'll be using the Energy Oracle cards for this. He will be in the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, number 41, which equals a five, and fives are about change. The masculine's crown chakra will shift from being closed and imbalanced to open and balanced. He will be getting the downloads from spirit, from his angels, from his guides, and the telepathic messages that his divine feminine sends to him. He will be aligned with listening to this higher guidance, these messages, to help him step out of his comfort zone and begin a new romantic cycle and a new cycle in his life overall. Third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, number 37, which equals a 10. Tens are about a new cycle starting. This is the sacral chakra. The masculine and the feminine are always sending each other energy, specifically through the sacral chakra, at least I've noticed in the last few months. And that is how the masculine connects with his feminine, sending the energy, the sexual energy, just showing her he's still attracted to her and he still thinks of her in that nature. And she does the same. So this energy, because Archangel Shamuel, I always see as the angel of love, is going to help the masculines call in the feminine and to call in the love that he wants so much. The temple path, number 12, which equals a three. He will be on his path and the temple, he will be treating his body like a temple, taking care of it, listening to his intuition listening to the downloads that are coming through his crown chakra. Being open and understanding why everything happened the way it did, and he will finally be on his path. He will be aligned with his career and his life purpose, with the true love connection that he wants to manifest into his life, and overall, all the desires that he has when it comes to what he wants in his life and how he wants his life to be. Rest and Rejuvenation, number 19, which equals a 10. So we have another number 10, about a new cycle starting. So the masculines have gone through a period and may still be in this period of rest and rejuvenation. The masculine is just taking time for himself. 
So if he is not coming forward to his feminine, it just means he is not ready because he is taking care of himself. He is on his temple path and he is aligning his chakras and his energy. And he is releasing what has been keeping him in that energy of being in his head and beating himself up over what happened in the past. Some masculines have completed that and are ready to come forward. Some are not, and some are just beginning. Wherever your masculine is on that timeline, allow him the time and space that he needs to heal. That way it gives you, Divine Feminines, the time and space you need to heal if you are cross-watching for your masculine. So the next section is going to be affirmation messages for Divine Masculines. So these are affirmations that will help you shift your mindset to make sure it stays positive, optimistic, and in alignment with your vibration. I'm going to be using The Universe Has Your Back, cards by Gabrielle Bernstein. I surrender to a power greater than me. So it's time, masculines, to surrender to a power greater than you. Transform. That is what the butterfly represents, transformation and awakening. The universe has my back. Take the wisdom that you have learned on this journey and know that the universe always has your back and the mistakes that you have made, specifically in your connection with your divine feminine, they do not have to be mistakes if you learn from them. They are simply lessons and you take that wisdom and that knowledge with you as you move forward. My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. So what you put your focus on is your capacity to tune in. If you tune in to the energy of love, the love that you have for yourself and your feminine will give you the words that you need when you're ready to speak to her. It will give you the compassion you need to understand and sympathize with her when she tells you how much you hurt her. And when it's time to forgive, when you apologize if you feel you need to, the power you need is to listen to the words of I forgive you and if she needs to apologize and you need to forgive her or you need to forgive yourself. The power you need is when you're lost. Forgive, release, find yourself and come back. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So finding inner peace within yourself and surrendering the outcome. Don't overthink what she is going to say, how she is going to act, if she is going to be open to communicating with you. Just listen to your guidance. If you are guided to reach out to her, if you are guided to go to her, listen to that guidance. If it feels right to you, make your decision to move forward. The decision is completely up to you, masculines. It is your time to step out of your comfort zone and to take that risk. Remember the risk she took by telling you how she felt about you, what she wanted. She did that not knowing how you would react. Maybe she had a specific outcome in mind, but it didn't work out the way she wanted it to, but she still took that chance. And life is about taking chances and taking risks and not being afraid. When you're in your emperor energy masculines, you can make that decision. The choice is completely up to you. Hope is the conduit for miracles. So staying in hope, staying in positivity, believing in miracles, believing in the impossible, believing that what you're intuitively feeling, what you're being guided to do, what you're being guided to say is what must be done. But again, masculines, you must believe and you must surrender. That is what I have, our affirmation messages for the masculines. 
I'm going to close out this reading with closing guidance messages from two decks that I created. Butterfly messages from Spirit and Awakening messages. Your first message is ask for what you want. So what is it that you want, Masculines? What do you want in your life? And what do you want overall with your Divine Feminine? It is Law of Attraction. You ask, you believe, you receive. Trust in Divine Timing. Trust in Divine Timing, Masculines. Trust that everything is going to unfold and everything will fall into place when it's time. Release the past. You are being guided to release the past. When you release the past, when you forgive yourself, that is when you can get into the magician energy and manifest a new beginning. And you become awakened and you get into union with yourself and it will help you take responsibility for your actions and words and you will be able to make it happen now the feminine i pulled that card for her so see how the two of you are mirroring each other with make it happen i'm actually hearing the song make it happen by mariah carey so i will link that song below as that is a channeled song for divine masculines to believe in themselves and to make it happen i do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance for healing messages for the divine masculine if this reading resonated with you, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. It means so much. Love and light.